So, you have joined the military. You went to the recruitment office and you are now going to basic training. What do you expect? Well, if you're in a first world country, you would at least expect to get the greatest and latest gear. However, you will be quick to realize that most armies are not that way. Most armies, especially if you're in basic training, will give you the bare minimum of what you need. And in some countries, for example the US, uh, if you're not a marine, okay, they will give you something okay. You know, for example, a molly platform. And if you are in the German military, that bare minimum will be this. My best friend Moritz has taken leave from basic training, all right, to present to you Germany's legendary premier load-bearing vest, the Lochkoppel. What is the Lochkoppel? The Lochkoppel is basically a webbing belt and a webbing shoulder harness that's connected via clips that lets you attach pouches with these grommets. You would think that if you would join the infantry and you would be done with basic training, that you would actually get something more decent. And I mean, not every one of us is privileged with getting a modular assault combat cat Okay, which takes out all of your enemies. You would join the infantry and you would think that since you're an infantryman, you are part of this elite fighting force, like the tip of the spear of the military, that you would get something better. <sighs> Instead, you will be stuck with this. First of all, look at these buckles, okay? You would think that you would have buckles like here on the top. Just look at them. Those aren't your normal clips. They are not buckled, but try to adjust your size with these things, all right? These are not normal buckles. So you cannot normally adjust the size. If you want to adjust the size of this thing, you're gonna be stuck an entire evening on these things. Not even your oldest sergeant major knows how to properly adjust the rear. It's a myth, nobody knows. Nobody even wants to know because everybody dumps this shit after basic training if they're allowed to get private issue gear or they get issued EDZ or MOBAS, which is better. These buckles, same as the ones that opens and close, entirely not adjustable. I mean, now to the pouches, okay? You would think that there would be some okay way to attach pouches, maybe even molly. Fuck that shit. Germany decided to put grommets into the webbing. How you would attach the pouch, let me just take one off. This is what you would look like, all right? You've got these four points of contact. You would basically put it in like this and then attach the bottom points. And then when it comes out of the other side, you would then put this thing and press it. This is how it would attach. Doesn't look that bad, all right? It looks pretty easy and actually is okay to do. However, it depends on the pouch. If, if it's a new pouch, uh, say goodbye to your fingernails. Because first of all, you have to find the hole. And I cannot find the hole right now because it's a little bit dark and I don't have the patience to do this again because nobody forces me to. So this is the webbing belt. There is no padding, there is no molly, there is no easy adjustment. This is what you get. Let's forget the webbing. Let's talk about the pouches, okay? Common sense, people would think that, hey, at least I'm gonna get some pouches that are gonna be tailored to the mission. Fuck no, all right? This is what you get, all right? Pay attention. You get these abysmal, Magazine pouches. I mean, they look cool, okay? Like they got the Spanish tab fasteners. Oh my god, they're so silent for stealthy mission. Fuck no. Try reloading a G36 magazine with these fucking knobs on the sides, okay? That make you um, able to click them together, okay? Try to reload this shit with these pouches. Abysmal. It has gotten so abysmal that the German army even trained its people when you're in a defensive position to take magazines out of their chest rig or their uh, Lochkoppel, put it on the front of them so that in case of a firefight, they didn't have to reach and fumble around with their gear. Instead, they can just grab one. You would have to grab them in the dark of something where it's not connected to you. Okay, that's how shitty these mag pouches are if you want to reload with them. If you have cleaned G46 magazines, you don't have these useless knobs on the sides, perfect magazine pouch, perfect. But no, it's the military and if something makes sense, it fucking doesn't. So now you would at least think that you would get quantity of pouches. You would think, hey, as an infantryman, I should be able to carry three, six, nine magazines on my body. Fuck that shit, okay? Depending on your unit, 
You can get two magazine pouches if you're issued three mags. I was one of the more luckier guys. I was actually issued four magazine pouches with five magazines. All right? Why four pouches and five magazines? Well, because one magazine is always in your weapon. At least one thing where the German army actually thought about shit. All right, single mag pouches, all right, they have nice rubber coating in them that makes it nice and stiff and they're hard to reload, okay? That's important. So, hydration. You would think that you would get a water bladder or anything else. No, this system is from the 90s. Stuff like water bladder were not common back then. Instead, you would get, let me turn Moritz onto his left side. By the way, the way this system wobbles on his body is the exact same way this shit wobbles on your body when you're moving around. Because usually the military loves to issue this webbing system two sizes too large, okay? So you will never have a tight fit on your body with this webbing, all right? You're going to be running through the forest and it's going to... And if you are in CQB, don't even get me started. I cannot count how many times I've gotten caught up in, on knobs, okay, or door handles with this system. This is what you get. You get a, not a pouch of Spanish tab fasteners. That's the only good thing on this webbing belt that you get issued is this pouch. Why? Because you can actually fit a one liter Nalgene canteen or Oasis um, uh, bottle. That's the only good thing on this system that you get issued. Let's turn him over to his other side because what else you get? A gigantic, gigantic multi-purpose pouch. What does it look like? Well, you have a little, you know, cinching system up here that is supposed to hold a, a sandbag, an empty sandbag that you can then fill up, all right? Because the thought is you would get into a fighting position, okay? And you would start filling a sandbag to put your weapon on top of it, okay? Another thing that the German army actually thought about. Now, if you open these clips, you have a gigantic fitting space, okay? Maybe even my cat could fit into this pouch. No, he doesn't want to fit, okay? Perfectly acceptable, I can understand him. <sighs> The only good thing about this pouch, but it's also a bad thing, is that you can fit everything. You can fit everything in here. Grenades, smokes, bag of chips, everything would go into this pouch, which is the only good thing. But it's also a bad thing because like I said, this thing is gigantic. Try going through a door in CQB with this pouch. Forget it. Forget about it. And this whole webbing system just shaves up your hips. Ask every German soldier, at least three-fourths of them, will have tiny little scars across their hips. I'm one of them, okay? Because when you're marching, this shit just moves around and grinds off all of the meat on your bones. Everything, boy, you, you can kiss that goodbye. Everything's gone. Now, if I turn Moritz around again, okay? I first have to turn him around and then the webbing system. So what else did you get issued? You would get issued this, a pouch for your collapsible space. I feel like grabbing the camera and screaming into it, but I'm not gonna do it. You don't need this, all right? You don't need this, which is a German army collapsible spade or entrenching tool, Klappspaten, we call it in German, which is actually a pretty decent piece of gear. You know, I've dug a lot of fighting positions with this. Yeah, that's the only thing you would ever use it for digging fighting positions, especially in today's age and era, that is a very useful utensil. However, if you're an infantry leader, you better start fucking listening, okay? If you are an infantry leader, stop ordering this bullshit. Stop ordering your people to carry their spades on their second fucking line. You don't need this shit on your second line. Having this on your backpack, perfect. Absolutely perfect. If one of you starts writing in the comment section, oh, but you can use it for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Fucking bullshit. You think you're gonna start grabbing that shit out of your pocket, screwing it shut, and then you're gonna hit somebody with it? No. Great tool, but not on the second fucking line. Just put it in there, put a backpack over it. You can see from there, from behind the screen, that this shit does not work well with a backpack. But still, a great utensil. German entrenching tool, if you can pick one up, definitely go ahead. <sighs> Got a little bit of a rage trip there, but that is okay. Okay, by the way, you might be wondering, um, where is the frag grenade pouch? Where is the smoke grenade pouch? Where is the radio pouch? Where is the dump pouch? Where is the first aid pouch? Ask me something easier. This pouch always pissed me off. The gas mask pouch. Big, chunky pouch. To carry this, 
all right also a great piece of gear very very important very very essential all right the german gas mask all right and this would go into this waterproof pouch with the shittiest shittiest closing closing system that you would ever see okay here look here you have these fucking knobs you don't have a buckle you don't have a clip you've got this bullshit okay you have like an you have like a mouth that you will just close and you can already see if it starts raining brother this pouch is gonna get heavy because there is no drainage on the bottom nope forget about that and look at the size of this thing look at the size of this thing you don't need a pouch like this for this you can do half the size and fit this thing in there so this is what you will get issued in the german army i am about to give this thing back to the army because i don't need this shit anymore some people say goodbye i say good riddance if i turn moritz around again all right so that was my review of the lochkoppel however this video is not yet over because i will show you in what i transformed this this is the default system this is what everybody hates and now i will proudly show you what i made of this system that made it the most commando thing an infantryman could ever use all right so since we can't change women but we can change the gear here is my so-called commando koppel modification what does that entail um that entails me sitting on a sewing machine for several hours and modifying the living shit out of the system. If you have seen my infantry chest trick video that I've done about two to three years ago, I would say, where I showed you my completely self-made chest trick that I uh, made for myself in service, you're going to see a lot of parallels to this, okay? Now, let's get to the modifications on the bare bones of the system, okay? We're going to start off with the shoulders. And then we're going to work top to bottom uh, to the hip belt. After that, I'm going to attach all of my pouches to it and then show you how a real commando couple looks like. So first of all, what a lot of people do when they wear this system for a longer time, they turn the hip belt around. Why do we do that? We do that so that we can wear it like a chest rig, like you can see here. When I attach all of my pouches, you're going to see what I mean. But a lot of people attach it like this. So they have more of the weight on the front because of the previous system all of the weight would go to the back and it would sag. That out of the way, let's get to the shoulders. What you can see immediately on the shoulders are the padding sleeves right here. First of all, they are there to, you know, pad, okay, for padding. Because here's a picture of me being a machine gunner with the MG5, having two ammo boxes on the front here. And with all that gear on the front, this shit gets heavy. You're gonna appreciate every bit of padding that you can get up here. Plus, I've also attached some molly webbing on both shoulders. Why? Well, because, hey, you can never have too much molly real estate, especially with a system like this, um, if you want to carry hand grenades or if you want to carry a radio. Because, like I said, most infantrymen or soldiers in general in the German army, when they get issued a radio, they don't get a Pelta Comtag system or a PTT or whatever. They just get the radio. So a lot of the guys would just buy a privately issued radio pouches and just attach it up here okay you can see that on a lot of videos uh, if i can uh, find some pictures i'm gonna put those in for you in a second but that's what this serves okay to pad my shoulders uh, when i wear a lot of weight and to attach additional pouches what you can also see here is that i switched the buckle so i switched those out for snap buckles these have a lot of pluses okay the first plus is i can adjust the sizing in a matter of seconds all right in comparison to the old system I can also detach this harness and attach a different harness. I could swap this out for a different harness, a much more slimmer harness, wear a body armor vest over it. That would be a possibility. Did I ever do that? No, never. I got used to working from my front, so yeah, I always uh, stick to that. And also, another very big plus is when I wear a body armor vest, and I attach buckles to the body armor vest, I can just remove this harness and clip it onto a plate carrier if I had to. Now to the hip belt. I have an entire sleeve of padding going around the entire hip belt. So having that padding here really makes all of the difference. Plus what you can also see is the Velcro that I have attached down here. That serves for attaching, for example, a dangler pouch, but I can also attach a chest platform, which I do have here. I'm gonna show you that in a second when I attach all of my pouches. Now, if we get to the rear, like I said, 
the buckle is on the rear so we can wear it like a chest ring. We've got the smaller buckles also on the back that makes it easy also to take this thing on and off without having to kind of crawl into your chest rig because you can't open any of these which would be like that if I had the old buckles still attached. Now with this you can see here all right standard buckle opens and closes but I can also attach the size very fast and one strap is actually elastic so that means that for one I can breathe and uh I don't know about you guys, but I like breathing. I think everybody does. Uh, if not, uh, something wrong with you, go see a doctor. But also when I wear a body armor vest or a insulating jacket, okay, this gives, okay? So I don't strangle myself, but I can also like adjust the sizing a little bit, okay? And it just goes with, but also keeps a nice amount of tension so that I wear this, it's not gonna like, fumble around on the front shaking around while I'm trying to work with it okay that's something that you want to avoid also if I open this up all right you can see the inside of the padding all right I've got some uh, spacer mesh on the inside and some neoprene inside works great for padding but I only discovered very very recently um, that if you wear this in the summer and you have a bunch of neoprene against your body it doesn't really work that well Sure, it's padding, it, it definitely pads a lot, but um, it heats up a lot, very quick, very hard. <laughs> so wearing this in the summer, I discovered that it was not a smart idea to put in neoprene. If I were to do this modification again, I would definitely put something else as a means of padding in there. But hey, for the almost four years that I've worn this chest streak, and other people who actually hinted me up, you know, to borrow this chest trick when they were going on an exercise somewhere, all right? Nobody had any complaints about it. Now, I'm gonna attach all of my pouches, all of my accessories, all right? And I'm gonna come back at you in a couple of seconds. All right, so now, what you can see here, what Moritz is wearing is something that actually will serve you, which actually an infantryman would wear which would actually help you accomplishing your mission. All the pouches attached, let's go from top to bottom. You can see on the top right here, I've got my chest panel. Basically just velcroed it into the padding sleeve, looped it through um, with the buckles that I've attached here. <clears throat> now I have a stable system where I can attach stuff to my chest. Pistol magazine pouches with a flashlight um, as an example here right now or a hand grenade pouch or two hand grenade pouches or an admin pouch if you're in a leadership position okay all of that can be attached here on the front which would leave the shoulders free for a radio like i just said already now to the pouches on the bottom or on the hip belt okay still got your four magazine pouches with the spanish tab fasteners yeah like i said takes a lot of getting used to takes a lot of training a lot of repetitions to actually work smoothly with these pouches uh, but since i don't need these anymore i don't have to worry about them anymore so that's for the magazine pouches to his left side still got the canteen pouch up here All right if i turn moritz around to his right side you can now see two different pouches one is the let me say in german fernmelde kartentasche führer which basically stands for communications and map pouch for the leader okay like squad leader or something like this assistant leader if you open this up right here on the front you have a lot of space for your writing utensils okay like pencils and pens erasers sharpeners if you look into this pouch you have a divider so you have two compartments in this pouch. I personally always, I had one compartment for my shooting glasses, my camouflage face paint, my earplugs, hearing protection, and the other compartment just for notebooks and whatnot, okay? Everything that you would need on the field. Um, this pouch is actually made to be attached to the koppel. Um, however, it was never issued. Okay, never uh, has gotten issue to anybody. Uh, you can buy this pouch for, I think I bought it for five or seven euros on eBay. Great, great pouch, absolutely underrated, okay? I don't know why we didn't get this instead of like this gigantic 10 liter pouch that just would be caught up if you're going through a door or something. Now back here, you can see also 
a pouch made for the couple, which is a G3 magazine pouch. Did I put G3 magazines in there? No, uh, we're long past that weapon. Um, but what I would always put in there are just, you know, snacks. If I was out for a long time, I would put in my, my energy bars, my energy cakes, my espit stove. Just small stuff that can make your life easier. All right, now to the last crutchment of this system I'm going to show you. All right is something that my ex-girlfriend's dad actually taught me which is a yeah like an adapter okay you got the attachment system of the koppel all right which would be like this you would have your pouch here and this side would basically attach all right to this system and you would basically take the molly strap of your pouch loop it through here through the elastic all right, and loop it tightly so it wasn't uh, wobbling around. And then you have a molly pouch that you can attach to the couple. Okay, I use that feature quite often. Um, I use that feature to attach dump pouches, radio pouches, blah, 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 like whatever your imagination lets you attach. Okay, I've used this system to attach these things. Unfortunately, this chest rig will no longer serve me as I no longer need it. Now, what has this chest rig seen? Okay, I'm always saying, oh, it's the Commando couple. Oh, everybody loves it. Uh, I have gave this chest rig to a comrade of mine who was on a exercise in France. Uh, for those of you who know, Orion uh, 2023, when uh, <clears throat> Germany deployed quite a bit of people um, into France for an exercise, uh, where I actually gave one of my buddies this chest rig because he wanted something decent but didn't want to buy a chest rig especially for that exercise and he was more than happy he absolutely loved this system there you have it a very proven and capable way to modify shitty gear if you have more questions about this setup or the way i've modified this okay or what opportunities and uh, possibilities you have Go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help you out. Maybe if you don't even have the couple or maybe the Alice system, okay, or any other type of uh, webbing system, hey, maybe I inspired you to do modifications of your own. And for those of you, my German guys, who will ask me, hey, since you have left, okay, why do you still have it? Well, because... Like again, I sometimes, uh, I'm a sneaky little bastard, I just bought the couple for 10 bucks on eBay and I just gave that one back to the army and I kept this for myself because I thought I was gonna want to keep it as a memory but no, it takes up a lot of fucking space and just collects dust. So I'm gonna give it away, I'm gonna sell it to one of my childhood friends who has a hard-on for this system, alright, and he can uh, do a lot more good stuff with this than I can. So, to the end of this video, okay, thank you for stopping by, thank you for your attention. Moritz and I, we highly appreciate your time. And like I said, any questions, suggestions or whatever, please leave them in the comment section down below. My name is Eikofield, this is Moritz, and we're out. Adios.